Welcome back to the channel. Recently, I've been wanting to install some good lighting for the work area in my garage. So I ended up deciding on using these LED high base style lights. In this video, I'll show you the installation and why I returned the harsher bright white LEDs that I initially installed and replaced them with softer white LEDs. Hopefully it helps you in making a better informed decision for your lighting. The brand that I chose is Hyperlight, so I knew I'd only be needing two lights. You can send in your dimensions to Hyperlight and they'll give you a computerized layout for your installation, especially if it's for larger shops or pole barns where the lights are installed higher than a typical garage. The ceiling height in my garage is 10 and a half feet, and that's the minimum I would recommend for this style of LED. The beam angle is really cut down too much if you go any lower than 10 to 12 feet. So I initially bought a two pack of the 155 watt 5000 Kelvin lights, as that was a better deal than their other single package lights. Kelvin is simply the measurement for the color of the light. These hyperlight high bay lights come in either 4000 K or 5000 K. 4000K is a softer white light, while 5000K is a brighter white light. And these first lights that I bought are rated at 21,700 lumens. I had a hunch that these 155 watt 5000K lights might be a bit overkill for the garage. I thought that maybe the 100 watt lights might be better suited. I also thought that I might like the softer white better than the bright white. But as I'm always looking for a good deal, I figured I'd give the 155 watt 5000K 2-pack a try. First I drilled holes into the ceiling joist and inserted screw eyes large enough to fit one half inch metal conduit. After installing the metal conduit, I slid the lights in place on the conduit. I could have hung the lights directly from the screw eyes, but the metal conduit allows me to change the positioning of the lights, which I do when the garage door goes from open to closed. So here's what the 155 watt 5000K lights look like with the garage doors open and then closed. It looked a bit too harsh white for me, so I decided to return them and order the 100 watt 4000K lights. In addition, I thought the lighting could be improved by adding some secondary lighting under the shelving and eliminating the shadows in the workbench area. I'll show you how that turned out after I get the 100 watt 4000K lights installed. So let's take a look at the new lights after the exchange. They're a bit smaller than the 155 watt lights, but that makes sense. They're two-thirds the size of the 155 watt lights in wattage and lumens. These lights are oh, just under nine and a half inches, whereas the 155 watt lights were around 13 inches. These lights are well made. They're solid cast aluminum with these molded heat fins that uh, help dissipate the heat. These individual 100 watt lights are more expensive than the two pack of 155 watt lights, but they do come with this uh, wiring lead uh, for use with a dimmer switch if you want to use one. The uh, two pack of 155 watt lights uh, don't have this feature. You also have the choice of paint color for this fixture. Most fixtures only come in black, but this one also comes in white, which I decided to go with. And the lumens rating on these are 14,000. Then, like their other high bay lights, these come with this uh, threaded C-hook for hanging that screws into the top of the fixture. And also this steel safety lanyard with carabiner to uh, attach it to the overhead support. And finally, they come with a 5-foot power cord that plugs directly into a standard US type 110 volt outlet. Since these lights don't have an on and off switch, I bought this remote control outlet with two plugs in it that I can control from the ground with this remote control. When I'm done, I'll be plugging these lights into the outlet above the garage door opener. Being that they're more than five feet away from the outlet, I bought short extension cords to extend the cords over to the outlet. Once I'm finished, I'll be tacking the cords to the ceiling for a more finished look. So now I'll show you how the 100 watt 4000K lights look with the addition of the undershelf lighting. First, with the garage doors open. Then with the garage doors closed. I prefer the softer light, especially with the secondary lighting. I'm sure some of you will like the brighter light better. 
Either way, I hope the video is helpful if you're looking to install some lighting in your workspace. So give it a like and subscribe if you would. It really helps out the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.